NaO, which is a class of, of substances called methyl oxides or methyl amine oxides. TMAO, by the way, is related to something called fish odor syndrome. TMAO is uh, derived from a compound called TMA, and TMA smells like fish. Some folks who can't make TMAO from TMA walk around smelling like fish, and it can be very unpleasant and socially debilitating, unfortunately. It's a, it can be caused by liver problems, metabolic issues. Sometimes people are born with a deficiency in enzymes that can cause this. In any case, this TMAO stuff is basically a bacterial waste product. Bacteria will eat lecithin, bacteria like lecithin, bacteria like choline, bacteria like phospholipids, and they'll eat this stuff, and then they'll excrete this TMAO. TMAO is an excretory substance. It's a waste substance that bacteria produce from foods. The point is, you can't eliminate the foods because the foods are key, especially foods like eggs and lecithin. We need to eat, and we need to eat well. We have trillions of bacterial cells that live inside us. They live with us. They are our best friends. They're our best nutritional friends because they, they process foods, they make vitamins, they purify our blood. They help the digestive process. They make good fats for the digestive tract. They fight yeast and other bacteria. They protect us from cancer. And they need to eat, too. And they eat basically what we eat. Anything that we eat is likely to feed these little critters. That doesn't mean we don't eat. And that certainly doesn't mean we don't eat super powerful, healthy foods like eggs and lecithin. But bacteria like eggs, too. And one of the things that these bacteria produce as a result of processing and digesting eggs and phospholipids and lecithin are the methyl oxides, these TMAO-like substances. The methyl oxides, TMAO, there's another one called DMAO. These uh, methyl oxides, these TMAOs and DMAOs that have been linked to heart disease are the bacteria's excrement. They're the bacteria's waste. They're the bacteria's version of poop. And like all crap, all waste, it's not supposed to be hanging around. That's why the body has many mechanisms for dealing with these chemicals, with these bacterial waste products, the MAO, uh, TMAOs and DMAOs, these uh, methylamine oxides. The liver has enzymes for processing them, and most of this stuff is eliminated very, very effectively. When the, when the uh, researchers at the New England Journal of Medicine did these tests, what they did is they fed people eggs, and then they measured the TMAO. They didn't measure it over the course of a day or a week or a month. In fact, I can't even find any, anything in the article that says how long they measured the TMAO levels, but they didn't measure them over the course of weeks or months or years. They measured them immediately, not taking into account that under healthy circumstances, that TMAO would get dumped out of the body quite efficiently. TMAO is a waste product, but the body has many mechanisms for dumping it out. The liver has enzymes for processing it. Most of it's going to get excreted through your urine. Some of it will get excreted through feces. The reason that elevated methylamines are associated with heart disease is basically the same reason that anything is associated with heart disease, and it has to do with something we talk about all the time. If your TMAO levels are high, that can be a problem, but it's not the egg's fault, and it's not the lecithin's fault, and it's not the phospholipid's fault, and to say, oh, well, TMAO has been associated with heart disease, so you shouldn't eat eggs, is nonsense. If your levels of TMAO, which very well could be a toxic substance for the heart, if they're elevated, blame your digestive system. It's something we talk about here all the time. Yes, probiotics, bacteria, the gut is connected to heart disease. Problems in these areas are connected to heart disease. We talk about this every day. Trimethylamines are not the issue. The issue is bad blood chemistry following a messed up digestive system, a broken down digestive tract. And this is what leads to an accumulation of the waste, of the bacterial waste that comes from food. Don't blame the eggs. Don't blame the lecithin. It's not the fault of the food. Avoiding eggs and lecithin and choline is simplistic and it's silly. 
In the case of uh, lecithin and eggs, not only are these substances innocent bystanders, they are mother loads of nutrition. They're a gold mine of nutrients that make your heart strong, that make your heart healthy. Nutrients like vitamin A and vitamin D and zinc and precious, precious phospholipids. Don't blame these healthy foods. It's not their fault. What we need to be doing, instead of staying away from these powerful and important foods and supplements, what we need to be doing is fixing our guts, fixing our digestive systems, which is our main theme here on the bright side. It may be the fault of too much food, and we certainly are eating too much food. We don't eat anywhere near the amount of calories that we're getting. But more than likely, what we're talking about here is the fault of a toxic digestive environment, a toxic blood environment that throws off the processing and the elimination of these kind of compounds. Is elevated TMAO and DMAO problematic? Perhaps. Certainly the chemistry of trimethylamine oxide implicates it in in, uh, poisonous reactions. The way way TMAO is shaped as a chemical leads a a chemist to believe there could be some problems. The chemistry is set up for DMAO and TMAO. MAO being problematic. That's why the body eliminates the stuff. These kinds of chemicals are unstable. That's why we have a liver. And that's why you want to be careful about how we eat. But this is a far cry from saying that eggs or lecithin or choline or anything that we eat in terms of uh, these power foods is associated with heart disease. All right, that's all I want to say about that. If you have comments, or if you have any questions about that whole topic, about DMAO and TMAO and lecithin and heart disease, you're welcome to call 855-660-4261, 855-660-4261. i got so much more I want to talk about when it comes to acid and osteoporosis, this whole idea of acid blood and alkalinizing. Acid blood, if your blood is acidic, it is a sign of inflammation. Blood is not supposed to be acidic. When you have acid blood, when the the blood is acidic, remember the blood's got to be slightly alkaline. When the blood is acidic, this is a sign of inflammation. It's a sign of breakdown. It's a sign of disease. Acid blood is not so much the problem, although it is a little bit of a problem. The big issue, however, is why is the blood acidic? And it's not so much to do with foods. I hear hear a lot about acid foods, acid-forming foods, alkaline foods. Foods. And, and there may be a, a small amount of truth to uh, some of these people who are saying, oh, you should stay away from the acid-producing foods. Guys like Robert Young, who wrote the book The pH Miracle, which, by the way, has a lot of great stuff in it, although I don't necessarily agree with everything he talks about. This idea of just eating acid foods, just eating alkaline foods, that's not really the problem. Blood acidity is not really caused by foods, mostly, although there may be a slight amount of uh, slight connection. Mostly, if the blood is acidic, you're dealing with metabolic disease, breaking down disease, biochemical disease. And guess where that starts? It starts with a broken down digestive system. For the most part, acidity in the blood is inflammation and breakdown. And this is why acidity in the blood is, is associated with disease, degenerative disease, and osteoporosis included. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll be back after this. So my elementary school-aged child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. The TalkStream Live app for iPhone, iPad, and Android is the fastest and easiest way to access live talk radio anytime, anywhere. Download the free TalkStream Live app right now and see for yourself. You'll enjoy instant access to the best in live talk radio. Find your favorite shows and discover some new ones. The TalkStream Live app is available in the App Store, the Google Play Store, or visit TalkStreamLive.com. That's TalkStreamLive.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. 
With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shields law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $33,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $33,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. It's time for a home security. Security quiz. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments, and sells for less than $30? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in, with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone Someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. Fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. To get your fake TV for only $29.95 with free shipping, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GCN. Back on the Bright Side, Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for being here. If you want to learn more about the Ingevity products, head over to brightsideben.com. Take a look at our shopping cart. Take a specially long look at the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The Nightly Essence is up there. All the kits, all the systems are up as well. The Healthy Start Pack. There's also a Join the Team link that you can click on if you want to make some money selling Longevity products or start yourself a Longevity business. Get your products at the wholesale price and help spread the word about the power of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. For you guys who have an Android phone, I encourage you to pick up the Brightside app. It's free. You can find it at the App Store. And you can also check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com. And uh, hopefully I'll be writing about this whole TMAO issue if I get to it uh, today or tomorrow. All right. Our number is 855-660-4261. 
I think we'll uh, save this, uh, the rest of this conversation on blood acidity and osteoporosis. And I'll tell you about uh, coming up on a, f- a future Brightside episode. I'm going to tell you a real way to lower your blood acidity, to make your blood more alkaline. That has nothing to do with food. And it's really how our bodies are designed to maintain their alkalinity. There's a system in the body. And I'll, you probably, some of you guys may know what I'm talking about. There's a system in the body that really is set up to make sure that our blood, that to help make sure that our blood pH stays at 7.38, which is slightly alkaline, slightly electricity sucking, slightly like an electricity vacuum cleaner. And we will continue that discussion on our next, on a 